Time now, 539. Temperature is going to start soaring. Thankfully, not too <laughs> high in the next little bit, though. That's right. We're not talking about 90s by any stretch of the imagination, but just a little warmer than we've been doing across central Georgia. So I guess it's kind of a balancing act, right? We started off October on the cooler side and going to finish it probably on the warmer side. But there is a front, at least on the a tail edge of feature view. I'll show you that here in just a moment. A live look over downtown making this morning. 49 is the current number. I think we're going to do another 30, 35 degree temperature swing today. 79, the high temperature later this afternoon should be around 76 this time of year. 51 waking up in Monroe County, 48 over in Roberta, 50 in Warner Robins and in Cochran, 46 waking up down in Dodge County, 51 in Gordon, 50 in Milledgeville and 48 up in Putnam County this morning. A tale of two stories. There are a couple spots that are much warmer than they were yesterday yesterday morning like Eastman 9 degrees warmer 7 degrees warmer in Abbeville but then you head up towards Washington and Johnson counties and you're a couple degrees cooler so kind of a balancing act in this department as well in terms of the past 24 hours or so radar is quiet it's going to remain quiet today and really for the week ahead across central Georgia we look across the southeast finding some showers back into Arkansas Oklahoma and Texas that's going to stay over there move up towards the Ohio River and not be a concern for us no big weather system headed our way over the course of the days ahead so near the 70 degree mark later by the noon hour and then mid to upper 70s later this afternoon, just like yesterday. I know this is showing mid 70s here. I think we're going to get a couple degrees warmer because that's just how it goes this time of year. And then once we get into the overnight hours, not quite as cool as we are this morning, more 50s than 40s uh, as opposed to 40s than 50s this morning through the afternoon tomorrow. I think we get closer to that 80 degree mark and then something similar for Thursday, continuing the steady warming trend, especially into those afternoon hours. You saw 82 there on feature view. Now this does take us into the weekend where we are going to remain dry across central Georgia. There's 5 p.m. Friday afternoon. Great weather for football Friday night. A great weekend forecast as well. No real rain concern. You see back up towards the northwest though, a front beginning to get its act together, trying to slide into the southeast. It's going to do that Monday afternoon, but really weaken as it does so. Yeah, Tuesday, Halloween, looks like we could see some rain up in northern Georgia. This is as that front is pulling in. The question is, does it make it to central Georgia by the trick or treating hours? And even then, only the European model is showing it. You can see the GFS completely dry. However, I will caution you, the GFS has had no consistency with it. The Euro has consistently brought in light rain on Halloween day, so we're going to be watching for that here in the days to come. To see if that trend continues. It looks like highs, low 80s, lows in the mid 50s. That would make for trick or treating weather to be in the 70s across central Georgia. At the bus stop this morning, 40 is going to be the name of the game. A chilly morning, we'll call it 70s later on this afternoon. The weekend forecast looks like a great one as well, albeit just a little warmer than we've seen earlier weekends during the month of October. 83 for both Saturday and Sunday with mostly sunny skies. No rain around, I'd say. Get outside and enjoy it. And really, no rain over the course of the next seven days. The, what we saw in future view there, that's going to be outside of the next seven days. We're looking at mostly sunny, partly cloudy skies to round out the week before the sun really prevails on Sunday, and that's going to continue as we get into next week as well.